Hey y'all, so this is my one and only AR-15, and frankly I think it's kind of boring, but I have an idea to change that and I want your thoughts on it. So, long-time viewers of the channel, or not so long-time viewers, I keep forgetting that it was only earlier this year I attempted this project, uh, remembered my failed tactical lever gun build, where basically I tried to take a lever gun, make it tactical, make it a really nice home defense gun, tactical duty gun, blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, that didn't work out because, you know, the firearm I decided to pick ended up being a train wreck and I ended up just uh, canceling the project. Well, I had a, a bunch of extra parts floating around and, uh, well, let's just say that things aren't exactly looking really good every time you turn on the news and I thought, well, I definitely want to have a quote home defense gun, quote, duty gun, whatever, you know, whatever you want to call basically your go-to long gun. And uh, the most suitable uh, thing I have at my disposal would be my Ruger AR-556. And so I've decided to make this kind of my, you know, my primary long gun. And frankly, I think it's boring. Um, even now, I've made several changes to it. You know, I've taken the Holosun 510C and I've slapped that on there and zeroed that. I just recently changed out the handguard for a Magpul handguard so I can attach the uh, flashlight to have that I have that I was going to use on a lever gun. I'm going to order a different part to kind of push the flashlight forward. But, um, you know, it's just kind of blah. Like, it's a black, scary rifle and... I've never been a fan of black, you know, like all black guns that are all uh, plasticky and whatnot. And uh, I respect the AR as being a very uh, functional, very reliable platform. This gun is very functional, very reliable, and uh, I have it zeroed up real nice. And uh, it, you know, does what need to what it needs to do. So something I was thinking of doing to try and make it a little more interesting was rattle canning it. Um, I've seen a lot of people do some really cool camo jobs on their ARs, and normally I would never consider taking spray paint to a any gun ever, but, you know, again, these guns aren't really ever going to be worth much more than what they are, um, so I'm not really hurting the value of this, and plus, again, with it being mostly plastic and stuff, you're, again, you're not really, I'm not painting over nice bluing, I'm not painting over uh, nice wood grips or something. I'm just uh, putting a camouflage job on basically what is at the end of the day a tool. So what I'm asking you guys is, one, do you think I should do it? Uh, it's going to be a pretty big change. It's, you know, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that once I do that, this rifle will, at least to everybody else out there, be less valuable. So if I decided I wanted to sell this rifle, I would probably be at a disadvantage trying to sell it with having a camo, I was thinking of going, kind of go like uh, German World War II tricolor, uh, you know, with the, uh, uh, like the dark green, dark brown, and then the, uh, like the tan, dark yellow. Um, but that's what I was kind of going with. But so my other thing is, do you think I should do it? Or is it a terrible idea and I should just leave the gun alone? The other thing I wanted to ask is, do you have tips for doing it? I've watched a couple videos online of people doing it. And I've seen some people have prepped where they've uh, used degreaser and stuff on the rifle. Some people have done no prep. They've just sprayed it. Um, I don't think I'm going to use a primer because the one thing that everybody seems to agree on is the paint will wear off in places, which I expect it to. And it doesn't really bother me. The whole battle worn weather look is in, is in this season, so it'll be fine. Uh, but just a quick little video asking everybody's thoughts on it. Is there a particular paint I'm, I should go with? I kind of got mostly like the Kryolan Rust-Oleum, the camo paints right now. And um, that's kind of what I was planning on going with because they seem to be very popular. But has anybody had any experience with anything else that uh, also works well? So that's kind of my video. Um, you know, like I said, I'm not really going to do a whole build series on this. Uh, half the parts are already attached. And the only reason I haven't, uh, I'm still waiting to paint it is because I have a few more base components to the uh, rifle to, to strap on before I uh, paint it, mainly the um, changing the buttstock for something with QD mounts. And uh, I've got a angled grip up here to put on and then it'll be ready for paint. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think and uh, have a good day.